Hey everyone, leo ni siku nyingine. Tuko hapa tukusikiza vile Mungu anasema. Yeah. And this is a good day. By the way, don't take it for granted. God is amazing, amazing. Today I'm continuing from the book of Samuel chapter 16 and I'm going to read just a few verses and then we we'll reflect on them. Now the spirit of the Lord was 14 by the way. Now the spirit of the Lord departed from Saul and an evil spirit tormented him. And Saul attendants said to him, "See an evil spirit from God is tormenting you. Let our Lord command his servant to search for someone who can play the lyre and he will play he will play when the, when the evil spirit zone has come on you and you will feel better." Uh, we jump Uh, so uh, then Saul sent his servants as was 19 his servants to the, uh, uh, sent messengers to Jesse and said send me your son who is with the sheep so Jesse took a donkey loaded with bread and skin of wine and a young goat and sent them with his son to, da- to uh, his son David to Saul David came to Saul and entered his service Saul liked him very much and David came became one of his armor bearers then Saul sent word to Jesse saying allow David to remain in my service for I am pleased with him now last time we were talking about how God has rejected Saul and God has decided he's doing away with him and Samuel has mourned and felt bad and so on and so forth And now we see when God rejected Saul. You know in those days the spirit of God used to come and rest upon a leader and he would do exploits. And once the spirit of God left the shell is left and there will be no more exploits. And the Bible says that's what happened to Saul. When the spirit of God left him, he would be tormented by an evil spirit. He would be tormented and to, to a place he would get into almost depressions and stuff like that and the and the servants ob- observed this habit but it was a recurring habit something that used to happen and they said to him maybe we should get somebody who can come and play some music for you so that he can he can drive away the spirit or i don't know it was an interesting exercising experience for those people nevertheless they knew that calmness could be restored with praise and with worship And so they went hunting and looking for a, a person who would come and do and they knew there was a young man called David. Now you remember uh, we were discussing about in chapter 15 the way you know, in chapter 16 the first uh, verses how David was anointed to become king. Now God is rearranging things. Saul didn't know about this. He has no idea. And now David is being brought into the palace not as king but as a servant. As somebody who is going to be playing and by the way let me say to this to you sometimes the place where god is taking you he will not take you there as king he will not take you to the prominent place sometimes he enters you through as a servant before he exalts you so wherever you are sometimes a place looks very humbling by the way don't don't feel bad about it if it is god who has sent you he's preparing you for what he's going to do don't go there and become haunty stay humble until God exalts you and that's what David does. David is taken there and his father uh, sends him to Saul with even some things. And uh, Saul looks at him and he likes him. By the way Saul has no idea that this is a man who is going to take over from him. But he sees him and likes him. What is happening? David has God's favor. And when God's favor is upon you, even even the people who potentially would dislike you begin to fall in love. with you they begin to like you and that's what happens to david a young man very ametoka kuchunga buzi he's still taking care of the sheep and so on he has been taken and has found favor in the eyes of the king who he is going to take over later can i say this to you that you never know where if god has placed you what is going to become of it And you don't know the history. By the way David has no has no history about what had happened to Saul. David has no idea that God has rejected him. God David has no idea that God had picked up beef with Saul. 
He has no idea. But he goes there humbly and begins to serve. In fact, a message is sent. Please allow these guys to stay here in the palace. God is setting up the pieces. David will begin to see how the palace looks, how it operates in preparation for what he is going to be. Wherever you are, God is preparing you for the great things that he has put ahead of you. May the Lord bless you even as you consider this word. Read these scriptures. Meditate on them. They are powerful. Uh, they, will, they will transform your life. They will transform my life. They will transform our lives even as we consider them. Father, in Jesus' name, again you help us to begin to see the way you work out things, the way you are introducing David. He's going to become king, but he enters there as a servant. May it help us to understand sometimes the entry points that you use God, to take us to greatness, are simple and small. Yet, oh God, they will yield to great things. We thank you and we bless you. Give us a wonderful time of reflection and uh, may you bless our week in Jesus' name. The Lord bless you and do you good. Give you a wonderful week. Give you a breakthrough week. Give you a time for meditation and to help you understand that your entry point is not your exit point. In Jesus' name. Peace!